This time on Air Arms TV, we're out and about in the Adelaide area in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. Today we'll be focusing in on duck hunting. We're hoping to help the farmer out, get some good birds for the pot and have a whole lot of fun while doing it. In this episode of Air Arms TV, I'm out in the bush belt off the Eastern Cape. It's a beautiful day here on the farm and we have some nice cool weather. We've got a cold front that's moved in, but it's real patchy. There's blue spots all over the sky and hopefully it's gonna clear up for later on. But we are gonna be focusing today on duck hunting. Uh, they said that there's a lot of yellow balls, shell ducks, cape shovelers, and also some red bull teal. So hopefully we're gonna find a whole lot of those ducks, get some for the pot and for the farmer. So let's do it. The cape shell duck is a large goose-like bird, which is endemic to South Africa. This bird can grow up to 64 centimeters long and can weigh up to two and a half kilograms. Cape shell ducks are known to make their nest in holes and burrows of other animals like the warthog. I've really wanted to hunt a shell duck for a long time now. The farmer told me exactly which dam to go to where I can find them. So I'm wasting no time, I'm heading straight down to the water to see if I can find them there. There's a whole lot of shell ducks here. We've seen a couple of bears and they seem to be fighting for territory, so we're probably going to get a chance. They're very distracted, so we might get a chance on one of them. Let's give it a go. They haven't noticed me yet. I'm sure I'm going to get a chance to take a shot at one of them. Yeah, they are. They're coming. Let's get set up. Let's get set up just over there. The decoy is working exactly how I'd hoped. A pair's coming in straight away to take a look. <gasps> Crazy. The other male came and started attacking the one that I've shot. I left him there just to act as a decoy. It's exactly what we're hoping for, but the goose has floated away from us instead of towards us, so yeah, you can't get them all the time, but I think let's go get this one, let's do it. I chose to rather leave the breeding pair alone and it wasn't long before they flew off and gave me a chance to go and get my quarry. All right, ah, there it is. Oh man, just on the edge, exactly what we were hoping for. Just need a little bit of a stretch. Let's put this rifle down over here. We should be able to get there. Oh, it looks a little dodgy though. You can see I'm really hoping not to get wet today. So let's see if I can get this, if I can just reach far enough. See the water's edge is right over here. And this stick doesn't look like it's gonna reach, eh? Okay, I think I'm gonna, oh, that's deep. <laughs> that is deep. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Oh, foot wet. Uh. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, all right, what a beautiful shell duck, just look at that, man that is cool, yo they are beautiful birds, and I didn't get wet, so that's great, oh fantastic man, just look at that, oh man, what a beautiful duck and what a great hunt, I said here we planned it perfectly. Just look at the beautiful colors on this species. 
particularly the head. These brakes really stand out. Just have a look at that. That beautiful shocking white mixed in with the greys and the browns. Absolutely stunning. And to be able to get an opportunity like that where we set the ambush up, we waited and exactly what we had hoped for played out right before my eyes. And man managing to make the shot from that distance. Man, what an awesome hunt. And hopefully we can get a whole lot more down today. So let's keep on going. I decided to make my way to the next dam to see what I can find. I really want to take a few yellowbull ducks as well. They make for some great eating and the farmer asked me to please take some of the numbers down. The thing about yellow balls is that there's always so many of them together and this means more eyes to see you. I have to be careful here, I don't want to get busted. caught my pillow it shot way to the right but luckily they were moving fast but I got another chance on this small flock on the left here oh another one down man that was cool all right let's go get him well as you might have seen in previous episodes we use this very complicated bird retrieving device when we shoot the birds on the water and uh, hopefully today we're going to be able to retrieve them real quick, so let's have a look at them. Alright, there you go. Okay, got him. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Works like a charm, I tell you. Absolute charm. Look at that beautiful, beautiful yellow ball. Just look at those colours. Another wonderful species to hunt. Just look at that. We've been able to get within a, a good reasonable range between 60 and 80 yards and look at that there's the result unfortunately i missed my first shot which uh, sometimes happens and then luckily this one gave me a second chance and nailed it straight down so another one in the bag let's see if we can get a whole lot more today Got some more hunting, we're gonna head up over the ridge. There's another dam there, and we're gonna see if we can get lucky there, so let's do it. I just love this place. Not only is the hunting great, but there's always something new to see and do out here. Fish eagles, these have to be one of my favorite bird species. I just can't believe my luck seeing a beautiful pair like this. Man, how beautiful is that? We've had a, an awesome morning hunting. Have, have a look at these fish eagles. We've just been sitting here just appreciating it, watching them for a while. We've seen them come down a couple times. And uh, oh man, you know, these birds are native to this particular area and to watch a pair like this operating, it's just absolutely beautiful, man. Oh, what a beautiful day. 
It's not every day I come across beautiful birds like these, so I just had to take a little bit of time out and enjoy the moment. But now it's time to get back to hunting and see if we can find some more of those yellow balls. I finally arrive at the next dam and I can already hear them. They seem to be all over the place. I have to keep good cover and get closer for a look. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, straight down. Man, that was awesome. Yes. I some duck straight under. Boom, lower neck shot. Man, that is incredible. Oh, died on impact but went straight under. And we got him popping back up again. That was super cool. Bro. Yeah, let's go get him. Yeah, that's great. I love that. What a great day's hunting and another beautiful yellow bull down. Just what I was hoping for. All right, here we go. Right there along the shoreline. Just what we want. I know this dam's real shallow, so uh, I'm just gonna go get him. Check that out. What a beautiful yellow bull and what a great hunt. So, I tell you, we've had an awesome hunt today. We've. Uh, Seen lots of different species, lots of birds, but man, have they been super sharp and we've had to be really stealth to be able to get close enough to get shots like this. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this bird here uh, presented quite a challenge. He was moving and I, like I said, I don't like to normally shoot at a moving target. I prefer to get up on them real stealth and uh, get the shot off, but I had the opportunity and we've been working really hard to get within range of these ducks. But anyway, another really good one down and what a great day's hunting we've had. We've seen all different types of birds uh, from that really good start this morning with the shell duck. To see the pairs fighting and everything going down like that and then to get onto the yellow balls and man was there a lot of yellow balls in this area. But nevertheless, another beautiful yellow bull down, another great day's hunting here in the Kawawi Valley in the Eastern Cape. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Air Arms TV.